a sprawling desert city for refugees. This is Zartri, home to more than 100,000 people who've crossed the border into Jordan to escape the fighting in Syria. Some have been here for more than a year. Cabins and tents provide shelter from the heat and wind. The UK's International Development Secretary visited the camp to see the situation for herself. Today I'm here to look at Zartri and, and to see actually how some of the communities in Jordan are coping with this huge influx of refugees that they've had to deal with. Well over half a million of them are in Jordan, 700,000 in Lebanon. We've got to look to the future and particularly make sure that the one million children who are now refugees make sure that they get the health care and support that they need so that when they're able to go back to Syria they can be part of a generation that isn't a lost generation but it's one that can help rebuild their country in time. Along the main street, the so-called Champs-Élysées shops have sprung up. The UK is providing practical support here, working with partners to supply basic services such as clean water and schooling for children. There's around 112,000 people here, almost half a million in Jordan. All of them, or virtually all of them, are totally dependent on the humanitarian aid for their everyday needs. So the British aid that we have received has allowed us to feed people in the camp and it's allowed us to provide vouchers that people take into the shops like checks and use to buy their food. In Ramtha, close to the Syrian border, British funding is helping people who've been traumatised by the violence. They can get medical care and advice here. Next door, this group was sharing their experiences with a psychologist. This woman gave birth to her baby girl here in Jordan four weeks ago. Her home in Syria was bombed with her and her two older children inside, and she lost her brother in the fighting. She hopes for a better life for her baby and to be able to return to Syria with her one day. An hour's drive away in Amman, Jordan's capital, families wait for food vouchers. With the World Food Programme and Save the Children, UK support is providing a lifeline. This woman left the Syrian city of Dera for safety in Jordan last year. Three of her sons returned to work there. One of them was killed. She relies on the food vouchers for more than half of her family's needs. Back in Zartri camp, children leave their lessons for the day. Mohammed, who's 14, has ambitions to become a doctor and to help rebuild Syria. These refugees want to return one day to a peaceful post-Assad Syria. Until then, they're making their lives here.